Hey everyone, Jared here with ToneandTighten.com and this is going to be a 25 minute at home workout to tone and tighten your lower body. We're going to be doing 8 great exercises targeting most of the major muscle groups in your lower body. We're going to do them in 40-20 intervals, 40 seconds on, 20 seconds off. Let's go ahead and we'll get started with an exercise called a reverse step lunge. Now to do a reverse step lunge, you're going to drop your right leg back behind you as far as you can go and drop down into basically a lunge on your left leg and then return to that starting position and then repeat the same thing on the other side. With these lunges, I like to raise both arms up and over my head. kind of kicks on an upper body component to it as well. We're basically kicking on more muscle groups, trying to burn more calories, make it more effective. Now for the first 20 seconds, I showed you just kind of a beginner version of that exercise. For these next 20 seconds, I'm going to show you a little bit more advanced version of the exercise and so this would be an alternating jump lunge and so you'll see that we're doing essentially the same motion except now my feet are going to leave the ground and then I'm going to drop into a lunge make it again an alternating jump lunge so there's your 40 second high interval period whichever version of those exercises you choose to do that's just great for my low interval period I'm going to be doing a little bit of a boxer shuffle here we're not going to be basically we're going to make it an active rest or an active recovery period for those 20 seconds. Next we're going to do some skater lunge and rows and so we're going to start the beginner version of this to be kind of more of a side step and row so take a big step to your right while rowing your arms back and kind of dropping down into a quarter lunge position. Again this is going to be the beginner version of the exercise. If you need something a little more advanced we're going to take the side step into just a full skater lunge and so now rather than just simply stepping from side to side I'm actually leaping from side to side turns it into a little bit more of a plyometric activity but you'll see the upper body is still active as well so I'm still getting those rows in for the rows I want you to focus on getting your elbows back behind you and squeezing your shoulder blades together with each rep and so there's our 40 second high interval period again whichever of those two versions of that exercise you choose to do just try to push yourself try to do as much as you can with what you've got and then we'll do the 20 second low intensity interval period here again I'm doing a little bit of a boxer shuffle boxer shuffle before we get into some straight leg raises. For a straight leg raise, my feet are about hip width apart. I want you to keep your back nice and straight, bend at your hips, and then reach down kind of towards your toes as low as you can go. Again, you'll notice that my back is nice and straight throughout the whole exercise here. And then use your hips to pull yourself back upright. So you should feel that kind of more in your glutes, more in your butt, than in your lower back, hopefully. If you need a little bit higher intensity version of this, grab some resistance. So I grabbed some um, dumbbells here. If you don't have any dumbbells, um, some water bottles, some heavy books, uh, some milk jugs, kind of anything you got lying around the house. You can find a, a backpack, maybe you throw some books in a backpack. You can use just about anything for some resistance on that. And again, that would be the higher intensity version of that exercise. So here's my 20 second low interval. Again, I'm doing a boxer shuffle. Maybe you're marching in place, doing some jumping jacks. All are good examples of an active rest or an active recovery period. Next is going to be a lat pull with a reverse lunge. So similar to that first exercise that we did, we're still doing the reverse lunge. Drop your right foot back behind you as far as you can. Drop your knee down to the ground as low as you can go. But now to add the lat pull, my arms start up at a 45 degree angle towards the ceiling. As I drop down into the lunge, I'm going to pull them kind of down and back behind me at that same 45 degree angle. If you need a little bit higher intensity version of this exercise, just kick your speed up. And so now what we're doing here is we're working the muscles again a little bit more of the fast twitch muscle fibers so it kicks them on a little bit differently. Um, we're also getting in a few more reps per given unit of time. So the faster I do that exercise, the more of them I'm going to get in in that 40 second time period. Okay, very nice. You guys are doing great. So here's our 20 second low intensity period. Again, maybe you're doing some high knees, uh, marching in place, walking around the room, whatever you can do to just keep the heart rate up, keep the heart rate active. Our next one's going to be some alternating windmill squats. And so here I am, I'm going to reach both of my hands down towards my right foot as low as I can go, come up and around kind of in a big arcing circular motion, and then drop both hands down towards the left foot as far as you can go. Now maybe you're not getting down quite as low as I am. Maybe you're getting down just to kind of the top of the kneecap, which is just great. Um, whatever you can do. So here's my higher intensity version of this. You'll see that my squat is lower and I've also kicked my speed on. And so I'm going through a greater range of motion. So working the muscles a little harder that way. I've also kicked up the speed. I've also um, going to 
to do a few more of those in that 40 second time period that I had for that high intensity interval. Okay, it's looking great, you guys. So here's our 20 second low intensity interval. And then we're going to get into our next exercise is going to be called some star lunges. And so we'll kick that one on in about three, two, one. To do a star lunge, you're first going to start lunging forward. So forward on my right, and then a side lunge on my right, and then a rear lunge on my right. And then we're going to repeat those same three on my left. So here's my forward lunge, here's my side lunge, and then here's my rear lunge. And lunges are, I mean, such a great exercise. Working a ton of thigh with this, working a lot of butt, even getting some hamstring involved. It's a really great exercise. Um, the higher intensity version is we're just going to kick the speed up a little bit more. And so now we're just going to do it basically as fast as you can. Turns it into a little bit more of a plyometric activity. Works those muscles a little bit harder. Again, we kind of get some of the faster twitch performance muscles or muscle fibers going versus the slower twitch kind of postural muscles so that we would work otherwise. Again, whatever whatever version of that exercise you feel most comfortable doing, try to push yourself, try to do just as much as you can. Again, this is your workout. This is kind of your time to do this. This is your time to make these changes in your life. Okay, here we go. Next one's going to be some uh, squats with a side leg lift. And so for to perform the air squat, my feet are hip width apart. Drop down as low as you can into a squat. Try to keep your weight on your heels. Try to keep your back straight. As you return to that upright position, you're going to alternate just lifting left leg, right leg out to the side as I'm showing you there. Now, if you need a little bit higher intensity version of this, Rather than coming up out of the squat to perform the leg lift, you're going to perform the leg lift while down in the squat. And so now all of a sudden what happens is that leg you're standing on, the quads are just constantly firing. Also that hip is going to have to work a lot harder to stabilize as your opposite leg lifts up and towards the side. All right, so there's our 40 second high interval. We'll follow that up with our 20 second low intensity interval. And I've got some good news, you guys. We're down to our last exercise with this. We're going to do a glute bridge with a march. And so we're going to actually get down on the ground with this. The glute bridge comes in as both knees are bent. Squeeze your butt together and lift your hips up off of the floor. The march comes in as you alternate lifting your right knee, left knee up kind of towards the ceiling. So keep your leg in that bent position. Here's the bridge. March right, march left. And that is what the glute bridge with a march looks like. Now, if you need a little bit higher intensity version of this one, go to the straight leg raise bridge. And so now you'll see that instead of marching, I just kick that leg out straight. First things first. All of a sudden now it's a, a, a single leg bridge. So basically I'm just using one side. So here my right leg's out straight. I'm just using that left glute to raise my whole hips and the kind of lower body up off of the floor. So it's just a way that we can work it a little bit harder. Here's our 40 second, or excuse me, here's our 20 second low intensity period. And then I've got good news, you guys, we finished our first set in this workout. So we've got two more to go. What I want you to do now is take 60 seconds, take a quick break, grab a drink of water, and then meet me back here again, 60 seconds, and we'll go again for round two. All right, everyone, welcome back for the second set in this, our 25 minute at home lower body workout. We'll go ahead and we'll get things started with our first exercises, those reverse step lunges. So again, I'm gonna drop my right leg back behind me as far as I can. Right knee goes down towards the ground as low as I can as I'm performing that reverse squat on the left leg. As I do so, arms are gonna reach up and over my head. Again, the goal here is we're not just working lower body, but we're also kicking on a little bit of some upper body work with this. And again, in just an effort to burn as many calories as we can to get as much muscle tone and strength in we can in as we can. Uh, the higher intensity version of this is going to be those alternating jump lunges. These ones are just a lot more intense. We're working the muscles a lot harder as they're working to kind of explode through these movements rather than just move a little bit more statically through them. And so those alternating jump lunges are the higher intensity version of that one. Again, choose whichever one that you can. Maybe you did you know, a, a simpler version the first round. Maybe you try to do a little bit more difficult version this round. You can also just increase speed if the jump lunges are too intense. Maybe you don't drop down very low into the lunge, it's all good. It's Again, it's you. It's you who's making the changes. You're the only one who's doing this, not anyone else. Okay, our next one's going to be the skater lunge and row. So take a big step to your left, 
drop down into kind of a sidestep, side lunge type position, and then row both of your elbows back behind you. Again, as you pull the elbows back behind you, I want you to focus on squeezing the shoulder blades together. The higher intensity version of this would be to perform the whole, all or the full out skater lunge and row. So for the skater lunges, I'm leaping side to side as I'm performing the rows rather than just taking a large step side to side. Um, Again, go just as hard as you can. So we're going to go for that 40 second time period, whichever version of that exercise you choose. It's completely up to you. Just make sure that you're trying to give it your all. You're doing your best effort. And so there's our 40 second high period. Here's our 20 second low period. Again, maybe you're just marching in place. Maybe you're walking around the room. You can go up and down the stairs, jumping jacks, high knees. I mean, there's a lot of things you can do for kind of your active rest or active recovery period. Our next one's going to be a straight leg deadlift. So my feet are about hip width the part. I'm going to keep my legs relatively straight. I'm going to definitely keep my back straight as I hinge forward at my hips and then use my glutes to pull my upper body back to upright. This is such a great exercise. This works a ton of glutes, works a ton of hamstrings. You're going to feel it a little bit in your lower back, but I really want you to focus on those lower body areas that I just mentioned. So again, the glutes and the hamstrings are where I want you to primarily feel this one. Now, the higher intensity version of this, again, I've picked up some small dumbbells here. Um, again, whatever resistance you've got lying around the house, it's just going to add a little bit more, you know, a little bit more load to your upper body. Makes those glutes and those hams work a little bit harder as they pull you, or as they lower you down, and then as they pull you back upright. Okay, so here's our 20 second low intensity period. We're going to get into our next exercise. It's going to be the lap pull down with the reverse lunge. And so we're going to perform that reverse lunge. So here we go on to the, on the right, right leg drops back as the left leg performs that reverse lunge. And then again, my arms are raised up towards the ceiling, kind of at this 45 degree angle. As I drop down into the lunge, I'm going to lower my arms down on that same 45 degree angle as I pull my elbows back behind me. Um, the higher intensity version of this again is to just increase speed, so to go a little bit harder on it. Um, when, you, uh, when you're pulling down that lat pull down, again the emphasis is squeezing your shoulder blades together. You're going to feel this one kind of more outside um, laterally in your back. Your lats kind of sit underneath your armpits in that area. That's where you should be feeling this one as you really focus on squeezing them together at the bottom of that reverse step lunge. Okay, so there's our 40 high period. Here's our 20 low period. Um, again, just trying to keep the heart rate up, trying to keep the blood flowing. We're now halfway done with our second set. You guys are doing great. Let's get into our next exercise is the alternating windmill squats. And so they look like, so you're going to drop down into a squat. Both knees go, or excuse me, both hands go down towards your right foot as low as you can. Come up and around your head, kind of in a big circle arching motion, and then drop down towards your left foot as low as you can. Um, great exercise here. We're working a ton of core. We're working a ton of upper body as well as kicking on a lot of lower body while doing these squats. The higher intensity version of this is going to be, you know, just pick up the speed. Um, try to just, you know, get down lower into a squat. Just try to push yourself. Do as many as you can in that 40 second high period. We're just about done with it. We got two seconds left. One. Very nice. You guys did it. There's the 40 second windmill squat. Um, the next thing that we're going to do is just our 20 second low intensity period and then we're going to get into our next exercise is going to be the star lunges. Again, we're working as many major muscle groups in our lower body as we can with all of these exercises. I love these star lunges. We're going to go again forward and then sideways and then backwards and so you know a lot of as a physical therapist I I see a lot of patients who are really strong kind of in the forward and backwards motions kind of the squats and the lunges running cycling all take place in this forward and backward plane of motion rarely do we get out of that into the lateral plane of motion which I find a lot of people are pretty weak in and if we work you know all these major muscle groups we actually get rid of a lot of knee pain and hip pain if we do these and so you guys are on the right track you guys are I know you're making changes I know you're doing the right thing I know you can do it there's our 40 second high intensity period on those star lunges again if you needed a little bit higher intensity version just kick the speed up a little bit so here's our 20 second boxer shuffle um, again maybe you're just marching in place maybe you're walking around the room I just don't want you to stand around statically I want you to try to stay active with it as much as possible 
The next exercise is going to be our squat with a side leg lift. So here we are dropping down into a squat, come up out of the squat, and then lift your leg to the side. And so maybe it's just a quarter squat, maybe it's just a half squat. I want you to try to get down as low as you can. Thighs parallel is kind of the goal. If you can't go that low, no big deal. That's totally fine. Again, you're the only person that you're competing with here in, this, in these workouts. And so the uh, higher intensity version of this would be to do the leg lift while you're actually down in the bottom of that squat position. Again, what that does is kicks on the quads, kicks on those, uh, those lateral hip muscles, those hip abductor groups, glute med, glute, um, glute, med, glute men, um, are really going to work hard to stabilize throughout that motion. Okay, very nice. So there's our 40 second high period. We've just got one exercise left in this, our second set after our 20 second low period here. And again, that exercise is going to be the glute bridge with a march. And so you're going to lay down on your back with your knees bent. You're going to squeeze your butt together, so contract your glutes to raise your hips up off of the floor. And then you're going to alternate marching. So here's my right knee up towards the ceiling, and then my left knee up towards the ceiling, and then return back down to the starting position. So up into a bridge, march right, march left, and then come back down. So there's your beginner version of the exercise. If you need something a little more intermediate advanced, if that's too easy for you, these single leg bridges are the way to go. I like to tell people, you know, do about three of them on each side. And so kick your leg out straight. And so here we're going to kick my right leg goes out straight. I'm going to squeeze my left glute to raise my right hip and basically my whole body up off of the ground using just that glute, just that hamstring over on that side. Yeah, okay, very nice. There's our 40 second high period. Here's our 20 second low period. And we've just completed our second set. And so now what I want you to do, we'll take another quick break, take another 60 seconds, get some water, kind of, you know, walk around the room, catch your breath for a minute, and then come right back. We're gonna, we've got one more set that we've got to get through. You guys are doing great. All right, welcome back. Here we go in this, our third and final set of this 25 minute at home total lower body workout. Um, we're going to go ahead and we're going to get things started with our first exercise is going to be those reverse step lunges. And so drop down into a reverse lunge as low as you can go. Again, that leg that's trailing, I want your knee to get down as low towards the ground as you can. Not necessarily important that it gets all the way down, um, but just try to push yourself. This is your last set. Try to do as much as you can with the time that we've got. And again, with that one, I like the arms coming up and over your head. If you need a little bit higher intensity version of this, these alternating jump lunges are the way to go. Just a great exercise. We're really going to burn the quads out. I know that this is your third set. I know that you guys are feeling this, but I also know that you can do it. Stay strong in there. You've only got one second left. And there's your 40 second high intensity period of that first exercise. So again, either the reverse step lunge with the overhead reach or those, uh, or those uh, alternating jump lunges are going to be the way to go on that first exercise. Here we go. So we've got about four seconds left in this, our low active recovery period. And then we'll get into the skater lunge and row. So the beginner version is going to be kind of the side lunge and row. So you're going to take a big step to the side, take a big step to your left, arms row back behind you, come to upright, big step to the right, arms row back behind you, and then come to upright. And so try to push yourself, try to drop as low into a lunge as you can. If this is the version of the exercise you go with, if you need a little bit higher intensity, we're going to kick it up into the full skater lunge rather than just the side step and row. We're doing the skater lunge and row now. So now we're actually leaping from side to side as we do this exercise. And so again, it's our last set. Try to push yourself as much as you can. Try to get in a few more reps if possible. And there's your 40 second high intensity period. Okay, you guys are doing great. We'll do a little bit of a 20 second low intensity period here. Uh, maybe you're marching in place. Again, walking around the room. Anything you can do to just keep the blood flowing, the heart rate going. I just don't want you to stand around statically during these 20 second low intensity periods. It really capitalizes on the amount of time that we have here. Um, really, really gets the calorie burn going if you do it that way. Our next one's going to be our straight leg deadlifts. And so again, hip or feet are hip width apart. Hinge forward at your hips. Don't, don't round your lower back out and reach down towards the ground just as low as you can go while maintaining that spine in that neutral position, in that nice flat straight position. If you need a little bit higher intensity version of this one, again, grabs whatever wrist resistance you've got around the house. 
Um, again, you know, a backpack with some books in it is a great option. Um, some water bottles even add a little bit of some resistance. A milk jug, that's usually about 8 to 10 pounds. Whatever you've got around the house um, can act as some great resistance to kind of increase the workload on that one. Okay, so here's our 20 second low intensity period. Before we get into our next exercise, it's going to be the lap pull downs with those reverse step lunges. And so to do that one, we're going to get into the reverse lunge position by dropping that right leg back behind you as far as you can, dropping into a reverse lunge by lowering that right knee down towards the floor as far as you can go. Um, arms are up above your head at a 45 degree angle as you drop down into the lunge. Row those arms kind of down and back behind you at that same 45 degree angle. If you need a higher intensity version of this one, we're just going to kick up the speed. And so now again, we're, we're working the muscles a little harder. We're working more of the fast twitch fibers instead of the low twitch fibers. And then we're also getting in a few more reps per given unit of time. So again, we're going for 40 seconds on this. We're getting in a few more reps the faster that we go. Okay, you guys are doing so great. So there's your 40 seconds there, and we're halfway done with this, our third and final set in this total lower body workout right here on Tone and Titan. Again, there's no equipment required on this. These are all body weight exercises. I have shown you a few variations. Well, I guess there's the one variation of that exercise that we did pick up some weights, but this is just a great workout full of these body weight exercises. All right, our next exercise is going to be our alternating windmill squats. And so again, to get into this one, we're going to drop both hands down towards the left toes as low as you can. As low as you can. Reach kind of up and around, arms circle around your head in a big arcing motion, and then drop down towards your right toes as low as you can go. If you need a little bit higher intensity version of this one, again, we're just going to kick the speed up. So here we go. So both hands down towards that right foot, up and over your head, drop down towards that left foot, up and over your head looks just like that. Again, this is a windmill um, windmill squat. Again, we're working the lower body with this, and then we're also working a lot of upper body as you're raising those arms up and over your head and throughout that circular motion. Works a lot of chest, works a lot of back, works a lot of shoulders, but then of course we're getting the lower body super active with that one as well. Okay, you guys are doing so great. Next one we're going to get into are those star lunges. We'll start that in three, two, one. So now we're going to lunge forward on the right, sideways on the right, and then backwards on the right, just like that. And again, the, your, your goal is to just drop as low into a lunge as you can. Maybe you're not going quite all the way to thigh parallel. Maybe it's just even kind of a small step. Maybe it's a little quarter lunge. But the important part is, is that you're trying. The important part is that you're um, really trying to make these changes, that you're really trying to go through these motions. I know that these are pretty hard for a lot of people, but you guys, you're doing so great. You're working hard. Change takes time. Change takes work. You're definitely in the right place to do all of that. Okay, three, two, one, just like that. Okay, those were our 40 second high interval on our star lunges. Now we'll get into our 20 second low interval. Maybe you're marching in place. A jump rope would be a good idea here. Jumping jacks are a great way to spend this low intensity time. Again, I'm showing you the boxer shuffle here. The next exercise we'll get into are the squats with the side leg lifts. So my weight is back on my heels. My knees are right over your, my toes as I drop down into a squat. As I then come back up out of the squat, I'm going to alternate lifting. So there's my right leg out to the side, and then here's my left leg out to the side. Squat, side leg lift, squat, side leg lift. If you need a little bit higher intensity version of it, again, stay down in the squat as you lift your leg out to the side. Again, my goal here, you guys should feel that one on the side of your hip. Again, that's a, a little worked gluteus group. So that's the gluteus medius and the gluteus minimus over there. You should feel those again on the side of your hip and kind of run around towards your, your butt, around towards your glute max muscle as you're down in the bottom of that squat. Okay, you guys, we're doing great. So there's our 40 second high interval period. Here's our 20 second low interval period. And I've got great news. We've got one exercise left. It's gonna be those glute bridges with the marches. And we'll get those going in three, two, one. All right, so you're laying on your back, knees are bent, bridge up towards the ceiling. Um, again, the important part there is that I want you to focus on contracting the glutes to lift your hips up off of the ground. Okay, you can do it with a lot of hamstring, you can do it even with a lot of lower back muscle, but the goal there is to actually contract the glutes to lift the hips up off of the ground. If you need a little bit higher intensity version of this, let's do the single leg bridges. And so here we'll kick my left leg out straight, 
contract my right glute as I lift my whole lower body up off of the ground. I'm going to do three of those at a time. Three on the left, and then I'll switch over to three on the right for that duration of the 40 second time period. All right, you guys, we've just got one thing left to do. We've got our 20 second low intensity period, and then you guys have completed this workout. Again, this has been a 25 minute lower body workout right here on Tone and Titan. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, do me a big favor and hit that thumbs up button down there. I really, really appreciate that. Also, if you haven't done so yet, this is a great chance to subscribe to Tone and Titan here on YouTube. That way you're sure to never miss a workout in the future. Okay, you guys, you're doing so great. I hope to see you back here again sometime. Until then, make it happen. Thank <laughs> you.